Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, August 18th, 2022. My name is Jennifer Cotton, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. Um, so welcome and thank you for being here. Good morning to Susan. First one here. Thank you for being here, Susan, on YouTube. Um, I'm glad you're excited to see what I have to share today. As usual, I have lots of stuff to share. Um, Terry, good morning from Charlotte today. Awesome. Hey, Facebook user in Colorado. Good morning. I'm trying to click on something. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Yvonne, good morning. Hey, Darlin. Hey, Lori in Minnesota. Good morning to everybody. Thanks for sharing already, Lori. Pat, good morning. Hey, Brenda. Good to see you. Jackie. Jackie, you're vacationing in New Jersey. Awesome. Um, Pat, good morning. Thanks for sharing other Pat and Facebook user. Oh, Joni. Thank you for putting your name. Good morning, Joni. And Cindy, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so my name's Jennifer Cotton. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I do Stampin' Up! as a full-time job for over 20 years now. November will be 21 years. That's crazy. Um, and so this is my full-time job. So I offer lots of things for you. Events, these videos, other videos, um, and in-person classes, all kinds of stuff that I offer. So I'm going to tell you all about that. As a reminder, on the YouTube video later this afternoon, I will add timestamps. So down in the description, you will be able to see, um, or you'll be able to skip to certain sections that I've added the timestamps to. So if you want to skip to the stamping, this obviously will be on the recording and it will be later this afternoon on August 18th that I add those timestamps. Um, anyway, that will be available to you on YouTube. And then I want to remind you about my TikTok videos. Um, I'll put a link to those here on YouTube tomorrow. They don't allow me to update those links until the next day after this video post. So on August 19th. And um, anyway, TikTok, I have over 70 videos that are three minutes or less. Most of them are about 30 seconds, but hopefully you will find some great tips in those videos. So go check those out as well. And if you feel like subscribing or following me on on TikTok, please feel free. Um, hey, Carol, good morning. Good morning to Mary Ann and Pamela and Kathy in Wisconsin. Hey, Facebook user. Good morning to you. Good to see everybody here. So as you come on, make sure you say hi. Um, make a comment, say hi, whatever. You can do this on replay as well to have a chance to win the three cards I'm going to make today with the Perched in a Tree bundle, a really cool bundle from our holiday catalog. So I'll show you more of that when I start stamping. And you get a chance to win those three cards by commenting on the video today on YouTube or Facebook. Um, and not just today, I should say, um, even on replay. And then if you share the video, make sure you comment that you shared both of those things help me in my business. So thank you very much. And we'll enter you again, but make sure you comment that you shared. So we'll know because those, these platforms keep that private. So that works on YouTube and 
Facebook. Okay, so let me get on. I forgot to mark up my notes here, but I usually take a pen and like circle things that are important and stuff like that. Um, okay, so my monthly classes, every month I offer events that anyone can take advantage of in the U.S. Oh, to go all over the United States. I also offer some of them in person in Texas. And then the PDF tutorials you can take anywhere in the United States. So those PDF tutorials, I will put a link to that as well here in the video tomorrow. And uh, that will take you to my PDF store, which is actually just over on my blog, stamptherapist.com. Right there, stamptherapist.com. And um, then click on tutorial store. And sorry, I'm trying to take that off. Anyway, so you can take the events to go where you will stamp and assemble at home with PDF tutorial. You can take them in person if you live local. You can even check out those supplies for me and stamp at your house for these four particular first classes. Um, and then I offer lots of other stuff as well. So, but the four monthly classes are card class, scrapbooks class, stamp a stack class, and sampler class. They are Saturday. <laughs> so, um, it's time to register if you haven't yet. I do have a few spots left for all of them. So you need to register by today for any of these because we prep everything tomorrow. We're going to put names on the kits, put them in whether it's being mailed, picked up, or attending in person. We do all that tomorrow. So we need you to register by today if at all possible. And we have three extra card class with the Ringed with Nature bundle. I've put sneak peeks of these on my VIP Facebook group, which there's links to all this stuff in the videos, um, I believe, yeah, up here for Facebook and down here for YouTube. Links to the group is what I mean. We're not allowed to put links to register for these certain events. Okay, card class, four cards for $20, uh, four cards for $15 free with a $20 order. Scrapbook class is sold out, but we're making some adorable Halloween and um, family pages. And then sampler, actually, uh, the bewitching sampler is sold out. It's super cute. <laughs> and the splendid thoughts bundle, I have one of. And it's a gorgeous um, sampler. I meant to say sampler. Splendid thoughts sampler which is the 12 by 12 framed art. Of course, I don't have those here because my awesome helpers have them to cut for me, but um, you don't get the frame. You supply that yourself. These are like 10 bucks, but you get a 12 by 12 piece of art that you will create. And of course we cut die cut punch and boss for you. You stamp and assemble. If you take it to go, it's only $28. It includes over $20 in merchandise. And you, I still have one splendid thoughts available. I gotta go back to my comments over here. And then um, last but not least, stamp a stack. I actually have two. Let me see if I'm reading this correctly. Did I even put it? Okay, I'm pretty sure we have two extra. I must have gotten distracted and didn't finish my updating my notes. I believe we have two extra stamp a stack. We're making some adorable cards with this spruced up bundle. You will make 12 cards for $30 and get over $20 in merchandise. So if you have any questions on any of those and you want to register, oh, I did find it. I do have two stamp a stack. Um, let me know and I will tell you how to register, send you the link, whatever our situation is. And I would register as soon as possible on those. So let me see who else is here. Hello, Anna or Anna. Um, hey, Kathy in Wisconsin. Let me see who else. I got some Facebook users here, <laughs> which that usually means you're watching on my VIP Facebook group, which is awesome. But then stamp, um, Facebook doesn't show me the name. Um, so we got a couple of Facebook users. Hello, hello. And then good morning, Deb in Northeast Ohio, Sandy in Wisconsin, Rhonda, good morning. <laughs> Deb, thank you very much. Um, hey, Carol in Connecticut, more Facebook users. Good morning. Hey, Debbie. Good morning. 
And Pat, hello, watching while eating breakfast in a restaurant alone. LOL. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, so what is this? The demonstrator event in Arlington, Texas. So if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you want to be one, you can certainly join under me with no obligation. Um, then you will be able to attend this event with Alejandra Gomez and myself in Arlington, Texas, November 12th, 2022, where, and it's in the evening, I believe it starts at 6.30 p.m., where you will make eight projects, get a goodie bag, um, get gifts from us, be able to participate if you, in a swap if you want to. There will be door prizes, giveaways, displays, and more. This is offered to go as well, and it is only for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It coincides with an event Stampin' Up! is holding, basically a one-day convention where we will get two brand new catalogs in our hands that day. We will get to see stamping demonstrations from those new catalogs and more. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, of course, if you are a demonstrator, I recommend, recommend you go. It's also offered in many locations throughout the U.S. and Canada, not just Arlington, Texas. Any demonstrator can attend, no matter if they join today or they've been a demonstrator 20 years like me. No requirements, no sales, you know, nothing. You, as, if you are a demonstrator, you get to go. And then same thing for Alejandra in my event. So if you need that link, let me know. We will be using the Awash and Beauty and the Happy Forest Friends bundles in that event. Hey, Eleanor. Okay, that's you, Eleanor. Good. Facebook user. And I forgot you lived in Anna, so I should have known that. Um, hey, Marva in upstate New York. Cindy Andrews, good morning. Hey, Kathy. I can see your name, Kathy. Good morning. And that was Kathy Ty, Kathy Lamont. Hey, in Blaine, Minnesota. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so next up, BOGO. This is an all online event, so anyone can participate. Shop from the comfort of your own home. Um, you just need to join the Facebook group, which there's a link for in this video description. It's already out there. Join the group and then join us Sunday, August 21st at 1 p.m. Central for the Facebook Live where I will be showing, this is not one, but pretend it is, showing you the product, telling you the price and letting you claim it first. So the video people get to claim it first. And that's all you have to do is join the group and tune in at one o'clock. You can check it out later, but um, the first dibs will be those who watch the actual live video at 1 p.m. Central on this Sunday, August 21st. And that's all online. So pretty simple for every dollar you spend in used merchandise. So like if this was used and retired and you wanted to buy it, you claimed it and say it was $22, then you would place a $22 order and I will send you this for free. So it's a great deal. And then next up, holiday extravaganza. And if you're attending in person along with BOGO, this event is going to have nine make and takes, a goodie bag, two stamping demonstrations, displays, a chance to win a $50 or more value door prize. And then if you attend in person, you'll also get to shop my BOGO sale. So these are the suites we're using. They are get as usual find my sticky note here a uh, Christmas lights bundle and the brightest glow stamp set that's the first picture then Santa's delivery and last the gnomes the um, kindest gnomes so I'm actually gonna make myself a note because that gnomes DSP is on low inventory <laughs> I just realized that, so I need to order some of that for this event. But it is happening. You need to register by September 4th, and it's happening on September 10th. Or if you take it to go, it'll get mailed to you after that date, the Monday after. Good morning, Cindy. <laughs> Facebook user in Georgia. Good morning. Lots of us where I can't see your name this morning. Um, okay, bingo is on Zoom. Anyone can participate in bingo on Zoom. And it is happening on Thursday, September 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Central. 
from the comfort of your own home. We will uh, play bingo games for door prizes and we'll have a stamping class with the gathered wheat bundle. So you will make at least four projects using that bundle. I will mail you the make and take packets. Uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but we cut die cut punch and boss everything possible we can for all of these events. Then you stamp and assemble with the PDF tutorial. For this class, though, we actually stamp along together on Zoom if you choose um, or some people just watch and some people actually leave at that point um, because there's a PDF tutorial as well. And you get to uh, though interact. You can ask me questions. You can talk to each other. It's a lot of fun. So that one event is very interactive for everyone around the U.S. So definitely sign up for that. It's September 22nd. Let me see if I have my deadline. Sign up by September 11th for bingo. Okay. And then the camp stamp camp with Jen and Jen, that's Genevieve Co. and me, Jennifer Cotton, is coming. It's happening on September 24th and it's all online. So you will actually complete your projects by PDF tutorial, but we will have a Facebook party on September 24th where you will have a chance to win lots of prizes, stamp all day if you choose. Obviously, you don't have to and interact with all of your friends who are stamping that day. And um, we're calling it Head into the Holiday Stamp Camp online. And we are using for these 10 make and takes the Cottage Wreaths Bundle and the Very Best Occasions stamp set. So that's what you'll use as you stamp at home with your own ink and tools. And then you can add on these classes, the Christmas Scotty card class and the Hello Harvest cards and um, treat box class or treat holder class. So Christmas Scotty is my class and the... Um, how did I just blank out on that name so quickly? The Hello Harvest is Genevieve's class, but anyone can take this in the U.S. and Canada. In Canada, the deadline is going, uh, actually, I don't know if she's probably hasn't passed yet, but that's with Genevieve. So contact me if you need Genevieve's info. Anyway, sign up. It's going to be fun. Lots of projects. And yes, you can only take Genevieve's class, only take my class, or only take the camp or you can mix and match any way you want. Okay, October, we just had a retreat weekend, by the way, April and I. Um, it was amazing in Temple, Texas, and lots of people took it to go. It's called a retreat in a box, and I have lots of boxes right on the other side of this table, ready to be weighed and mailed. And um, I'm doing that to by tomorrow because that's when the deadline is. And then if you took this to go, you'll get your PDF instructions emailed by tomorrow as well. So we're already on to our next one. It is in October. The in-person is full. However, you can take it to go. Links are coming out very soon. It's called Retreat in a Box, October 2022. We are going to use the Sweetest Christmas Suite, which includes two bundles, for our 10 or more make and takes, plus you get a goodie bag, um, gifts, PDF tutorial. It's amazing. That's the retreat. And then there's two cl optional classes offered. I'm doing the Frosted Flurry class and April is doing the Santa's Delivery class. Mine will be a stamp -a stack where you'll make 12 Christmas cards. And April's is you're going to make this adorable album a wreath and gift tags. Pretty amazing. So I, of course, would take all three, but um, links are not out that yet though. So know that um, you can sign up as soon as we get our links ready. We just literally have to type it all in and set it up, but we know what we're using and don't worry. There's plenty of space for those events. And then, do I have a graphic? Yes, this is like, very wordy, but this is taken straight from my blog. So if you go to stamptherapist.com and click on events and scroll down to the retreat information, there's the info for our, our in-person retreats. And the next one you can sign up for is April 23rd through 26th, 2023 in Temple, Texas. If you fly in, you would fly into the Austin Bergstrom 
International Airport, and it's about a one hour drive from there to Temple, Texas. Um, you're going to get meals, a bed, the goodie bag, the make and takes, the gifts, so use of April and my supplies, fun, 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 optional card swap, chance to purchase BOGO, like so much goes on at these retreats. Um, so that's the next in-person and that will be offered to go as well, but with new product that we haven't seen yet. So, and then of course there's a stamping cruise. If you would like to do the ultimate retreat weekend, go on our crafting cruise, January, 2023 out of Galveston, Texas on Allure of the Seas. That one's technically full right now. However, you can get on the wait list. It's still far enough away that people may cancel. We don't want them to, but you never know. And then January 2024 has plenty of space on Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas. Um, anyone can cruise with us and use our group rate, which is going to be cheaper than any Royal Caribbean special. But then anyone who wants to add on the crafting portion adds that on. So you can bring family, siblings, uh, literally anyone you want, even if they don't want to craft. And then only the crafters pay the crafting fee. You get six full classes included, um, uh, at least a half a table to yourself the entire week. Prizes, giveaways, gifts, fun, fun, fun. So definitely check that info out, info in these video descriptions. And of course, you can contact me. All of these classes, by the way, links will be emailed out for them today at 1 p.m. So if you're not on my email newsletter list, join that. There's a link in the video up here on YouTube, down on, uh, no, up here on Facebook, down here on YouTube. So check out those links, join the email list, etc. Okay, um, next up is specials. So I'm about to point the camera down, which I know this camera has been, been <clears throat> glitchy today. I saw it before I started, but I didn't have time to fix it. So hopefully the one pointing down will be better. But um, what am I? Oh, I want to mention I am a Stampin' Storage affiliate. So that is where I have purchased. Of course, now I'm seeing my camera slightly crooked. Um, all of my, these wooden paper storage, which comes in 12 by 12 and 8 and a half by 11. Mine are 8 and a half, but you can get 12 by 12 and these um, punch storage things, but they have a ton of stuff. Well, they have a sale coming up on, uh, sorry, August 22nd through 24th, only through affiliates. So I'm an affiliate, so you can use my link that will be in the email today. If you're interested in getting some stamp and storage <laughs> items, like I said, they have tons of product. Um, mine, by the way, as a side note, are in a Alex shelf, K-A-L-L-A-X from Ikea. Okay, so link and email. The sale is August 22 through 24th. And the sale, I don't think I said, is 15% off everything. So check that out. Then, of course, we, we still have <laughs> celebration going on from Stampin' Up! through the end of this morning. By the way, good morning to Betty. Thanks for sharing. Hey, to several Facebook users. Good morning. Good morning to Linda in Idaho watching and eating breakfast. The cats requested theirs first, of course. Hey, Colleen in Minnesota. Good to see you. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Jeanne. Hey, Bonnie in Cicero, New York. Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary in lovely Long Island. Good to see you as well. And this. Okay, so celebration, I'm sure everyone knows, but you know, you might be new to this to me and Stampin' Up. This is a special we do currently twice a year. I actually have this printout for my in person events. Um, so, what celebration is, is three specials from Stampin' Up. One is a free gift with purchase. Two is a gift with our starter kit and three is a gift when you host or technically just place a really large order. So three different specials that anyone can take advantage of unless you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already. You cannot buy the starter kit, of course. Um, 
so this was the my original flyer. So a couple of these things have sold out: the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, and the tree lot dies are gone. These are all while supplies last, or August thirty first, whichever comes first. So I have, I believe, them all in my bucket here. And then they Stampin' Up has released additional items from our annual catalog that you can get free with purchase. So all of this ends at the end of August, August 31st. Here's the additional items. I went over these in the last couple of videos, um, but there's some embossing folders, this gorgeous brush metallic cardstock, which I'll be using today. Um, three, no, sorry, four sets of dies that are free with 100, and I'll be using the Aspen Tree dies today. Some gift boxes and silver foil. So all of that's free with purchase, no limit. If you want two timber embossing folders and you place $100, you can pick two as long as they haven't sold out. If these items sell out during celebration, they will become unavailable, and they'll come back for sale once they come back in stock. So it is while supply last. And then these are just while supplies last, including I read yesterday the planner. <laughs> it is while supplies last with our starter kit promotion. So if you join my team for $99 plus tax, free shipping, you get to pick 125 in any merchandise you want. And then on top of that, you get this free planner kit. It's a whole kit. So you can use this planner obviously for anything you want. Mine would be for my business mainly, but whatever you want it for. Um, it comes with 18 months worth of calendars, um, including not really flipping well, but you do get the full month view somewhere in there, right there. And um, stickers, this faux leather album, which is super nice and amazing. You get all these other pages that are the rest of the 18 months, plus lots of blank pages and goals and all that stuff. You get the Making Plans stamp set. This is all totally free. And you get these three planners. When you join, there's no obligation. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to buy. You could get a discount, and most people do, but you're not required to, and there's no penalty, and nothing bad happens. And you still get to be my customer if you you know, end up not doing anything with that kit purchase. This is just the brochure here. Um, and then these are the free with purchase items, free with 50, the design, the six by six silver and gold designer paper, the hippo dies, which who knows, but those would probably be um, more urgent if you're going to get something. They match the hippest hippo stamp set, but they our wand supplies last, and we will not be getting any more of those dies in. So if you want those, I would get them now. Hippus Tippo stamp set, those are both free with 50. All of those items are. Um, the, let me get this one, Stylish Sketches stamp set, free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Remember, you want to get two. That's fine. Amazing phrase stamp set, free with a $100 purchase. Wonder, well, actually, let me show this one. This is the Rings of love yep rings of love 12 by 12 designer paper which i've shown on many videos all these papers we're using a bunch of it at my classes this week but anyway um that is free with 50 while supplies last and then this wonderful world is a bundle the stamp set ugh, I'm a mess here and the designer paper 12 by 12 free with a hundred dollar purchase and last but not least this is your gift with a 300 dollars party which is multiple orders combined or one single order and you would qualify for your celebration items and then this is an extra gift called a host gift which of course when you order anytime 150 or more in a single order not part of bogo and just you go online and place it yourself, you're going to get host benefits, which is a percentage back in free merchandise. So any questions, let me know. That is celebration. Today is the 18th. So almost two weeks, one day less than two weeks left of celebration. And then we just are back to regular spending. <laughs> I like the free gifts. You know, um, I have some 
I'm not really going in a particular order here. Let me look. Celebration. Sold out. New celebration. I talked about all that. Okay. So I got some new product in. So I'm just going to show you that real quick. And new to me, I should say. There's my flyer. Um, I don't know where I put. <laughs> okay. So I don't know where I put it, but there are some new dyes coming out that I've already told everyone about that start uh, next month for customers and demonstrators can order them now. You can get these in your starter kit as well. So I've written limited edition online. Um, these are the two I have so far. So trimming the tree is a stamp set in our annual catalog. Well, now that you can get dyes to match it, and they're amazing. You notice they're used because someone used them, which they're allowed to at my retreat uh, that I did with people and so they're you know how it is as soon as you use them they get all mixed up but not only are you going to be able to cut out the tree and the ornament the ornaments I should say plural um, you have these cute label dies you have this label die for the greetings, um, there's like a basket, another sort of label greeting type die, borders, you can actually die cut out these border, like tinsel sort of, or garland I should say, images. It's a ton of dies, 28 dies, you can cut out the little tree, the little pot the tree sits in, the star, pretty amazing. These dies are going to be while supplies last September 1st. Demonstrators can get them now before they go while supplies last. And so, of course, that's how I would recommend you get it. Grab the starter kit. You can get the, these dies in the kit if you want, or any of those while supplies last dies. I really need to step over here and find my flyer. So there's that, and you can buy the bundle if you don't already own Trimming the Tree. I already owned it, so I got the stamps up. I mean, I just got the dice. But. And then Yeti to Party, I did not own, so I bought the bundle on this one, just because I think it's adorable, right? Yes. Um, so now you can buy it out the cute Yeti and the mountains and all kinds of other images in the stamp set. There's 18 dies in this one. Uh, a nice scarf, which probably will work for other things, although it's a pretty big scarf because <laughs> he has a big neck. Anyway, super cute. So those will be lost supplies last as well. And then there's several others that I just um, have only purchased these two so far. You don't have to purchase the stuff just because you're a demonstrator and have access to it. It's more if you want or need to. I'm looking real quick. These flyers. I don't know where I put them. Yeah, I don't know where I put it. So, anyway, you've seen it before. There'll be links to it in the emails that go out today. Um, and then from the celebration items, I got free with a oh, $100 purchase the dots and spots die. And then I was going to use it on these cards today and I forgot. So, I haven't used it yet. So that's the new stuff that I have in stock, so to say. And then I also ordered these bags. So they're paper. I did put it together. It was super simple. You peel and fold and stick the sides. And then to close it, you would just squeeze together here and tie ribbon through it. So these, I kind of did not notice in the annual catalog. And I was placing an order and I had like a few dollars to spend on free host dollars. So I was just flipping through the book and I was like, oh, I don't own those. Let me get that. So here's what how they come. It's a 12 by 12 container. They're called Delicate Details Treat Boxes. And I just wanted to show that because I <laughs> hadn't noticed them. So it's uh, lace in the front. So whatever you put in there would show through. So you can put a color or tissue paper or whatever. Obviously, you can decorate a tag and all that stuff. Um, it's kind of thin paper, just in comparison to some of the other boxes I've shown you guys lately. It's definitely a lot thinner, which is probably to do with the lace 
detail. So thought you might want to see that if you had not seen those in person as well. Let me look at these comments and I'm going to show swaps from the retreat. Good morning, Marilyn. Hey, JG. Deanne, thanks for sharing. Diane, good morning. Rosemary. Let's see. Linda, sorry about the angry button. <laughs> it's funny. We always, I always see angry buttons on lives and I've just decided like, to pretend it was an accident, even if it wasn't. <laughs> but at least you told me this time. <laughs> Because you can't take it back. It's so weird. But anyway, okay, so these are the swaps from the retreat. My swap, I decided to use one of my Facebook Live cards from last week because that would be the easiest. So that's my swap. The swap is totally optional, by the way, at retreats. It's just optional. So obviously not everyone participated. About almost half the people did. This was April swap, and I'm going to, I don't know who made the rest, honestly, because we didn't them put names on them um, but isn't that cute Halloween and then we have a, a what are these called um, slim line gnomes card this is that gorgeous celebration for the $100 purchase DSPN stamps card um, that's also celebration paper which I thought this card was so cute like it's so simple just die cut that teacup out of delicate looking designer paper and that makes the card gorgeous um and then we have this one again i don't have names sorry but the cool thing when you do swaps which by the way if you're a demonstrator you have a chance to participate in swaps every month at minimum um is you get back a lived card this was actually our winning card everyone at the retreat gets to vote whether they swap or not and lisa i think this was lisa stevens Lisa Stevens, I believe, because there's two Lisas, um, made that one. She won. Here's a gorgeous one. This is the stuff I'm using for that sampler class that I have one spot for. Oh, look, she embossed that pot. So pretty. And then last but not least. So there we go. Hope you guys are inspired by those swaps. <laughs> that bag is cute, right? I agree. I'm glad I bought them. I would figure out what to use it for. Um, okay, and last but not least, and then we'll get started stamping, is my ordering special for August. Every month I have an ordering special for you. You place an online order with me of 25 or more using the monthly host code. You get a free class packet mailed to you, which I'll show you in a second. And then if your order is... 50 or more, you also get a free full accessory. So right now it's the gold 3 8 inch shimmer ribbon. And if it's 150 or more, you get both gifts, but you don't need to use the host code because then Stampin' Up! will make you a host and give you at least $15 in free merchandise. And I'll still give you my gifts. But I do have a bonus this month. If your order is $75 or more on a single order, I'm going to send you three bonus PDF tutorials when the month is over. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And here's the class kit. I I have made these cards on a video this month already. So you can go back and check that out if you missed it. And you will get the kit to make all four, which will include everything cut, die cut, punched, and embossed that we can. And you will stamp and assemble at home with the Fond of Autumn bundle. Or just substitute other images you have and make it different. Um, so that's the kit. Here's the free ribbon with 50 or more. And then the three two, two bonus tutorials with 75 or more, which, by the way, they're already typed up. Uh, last month's online ordering special, I am behind. There's a video to make the cards, but I'm typing the tutorial today. They've already received their kits in the mail, though. So it's kind of crazy, which is how I am. Okay, so today's cards are using the Perched in a Tree bundle. So this bundle is in our holiday catalog on page 46. And I um, have liked it. Every time I flip through, I'm like, that's cute, but I don't know where I would use it in events and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, because there's only a couple of images and 
the way I design for my events, I need multiple images, etc. Long story short, so I kept skipping it. Then when I was designing for the retreat, I was like, here are two leaf dies, and they're pretty much the only current Stampin' Up! leaf dies we have. So I considered purchasing it, it at that time. I just realized where that flyer is. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I didn't. I was like, I can live without leaves. Leaf dies. It's fine. Then Stampin' Up! came out with this. And said you can get these aspen tree dies free with a hundred dollar purchase and so i was placing an order anyway so i ordered perched in a tree and i got the dies for free there's my story um it's six dies which by the way this big like tree opening scene opening on a the front of a card scene is amazing i got the leaves which cut and embossed at the same time, and then all the other dies as well. So there's a die to cut out the bird and the branch. This is like flowers, but they're not stamped. So it's kind of, it's fine, but it's kind of weird to me. It's literally just a die that's like, which I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a huge bunch of flowers that you would put at the end of the branch, but there's no definition on them. There's no stamp to match it. So there's a sample of it in the catalog. And then this bird, it's just kind of like a little short, fat winter bird, but it's pretty large. It's about two and a two. It's about two inches tall and like two and a fourth wide. And then this nice long branch. Remember this images in our catalog are actual size. Um, a detailed branch, the bird and the branch that you would color in if you chose. It's about four inches long by about a half inch. Two different splatter stamps, which crazy enough, I love splatter stamps. Did not use them on my cards today. There's one that's more solid and then one that's the dots. And they're about the same size, about a one and a half inch area. And then four greedies. Your kindness warms my heart, wishing you abundant joy and peace. Let heaven and nature sing. No matter the season, I'm here for you. And it's a mix of a very fancy cursive with um, print. So there we go. Pretty good. Perched in a tree bundle. Um, okay, so this thing is where my flyers are going back and back. <laughs> so the perfect partner's dies are six dies that are um, going to be while supplies last. So here's the two I showed you, tree trimmings and yeti. But we also have the apple blossom, the fresh cut stems, the playful piggy, and waterfall dies. All of that is available to demonstrators now. You can also get it in the demonstrator starter kit. Or uh, if you're already a demo, you can order them now and it's September 1st, so they will go out to customers and be while supplies last. And they're only available in September, so even if they don't sell out, they won't, they'll be gone after the end of September and they will not be bringing those back. They have stated that. Bonnie, I'm glad you love those cards. I, the swaps are um, always so good. You know what I mean? Like, better than cards I make in my opinion so I love participating in swaps speaking of I just stamped and die cut out 30 swaps to take with me next week when I go to New Orleans for a Stampin' Up! event yay it's our leadership event basically and uh, swapping is always optional anywhere but of course I want to do it and it's just a like participate if you want kind of swap so i'm making 30 to take and just walk around and trade with people and actually this is going to be my swap it's not the most amazing card you've seen in the world but it's for a swap it's not too hard to duplicate <laughs> so i cut and die cut and embossed and stamped everything last night now i need to fold and assemble my swaps but anyway here's the first card i'm going to make so I have, I was trying to read those comments. Did the same thing with Perch and a Treat. Yes, Susan, right? It's like, it, 
cute. And I think the bird is cute, which I'm not usually into bird stamps, by the way. It's not anything against birds. I'm just like, eh, I don't want to color, blah, blah, blah. But this bird is very cute, and I like how large it is. And my friend Chris, I was asking her what colors it should be. And she gave me lots of advice. And then she colored like seven or eight and texted it to me. And of course, her coloring is amazing. <laughs> but anyway, um, hey, Melanie, good morning. Thank you, Deb. Um, I'm glad you guys like those swaps. Yes. Lori wasn't fan, a fan of the bundle at first. So hopefully you'll like these cards today. Okay. And it's red rubber, by the way which if you haven't seen my TikTok video, and it's also on this YouTube, I mean, sorry, I think, I can't remember. I think it's on YouTube, but it's on my Facebook feed um, of how to assemble your red rubber stamps. Check that out. All right, so we have a card base here. It is soft suede cardstock. It's just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. So it's five and a half. I'm sorry, it's five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to fold that in half with my bone folder so that I don't get an ugly crease in this inside. So I'm going to use the bone folder. And then I'm going to make a clean fold card. So I'm going to fold the front all the way back to the left. And again, use my bone folder. You could um, score these instead if you were not lazy like me. <laughs> but I use the bone folder. So that's a Z fold. I make these all the time. So then I have a piece of white to go on the inside. It's four inches by five and one fourth, four by five and a fourth. Then on the left front flap, it's, I always use one and seven eighth by five and a fourth. And this is some Bowels of Holly designer paper. It's really gorgeous. And it was, I think, not orderable or low. Anyway, it came back as of last night it's off that list. So you can order it now. And I was very excited about that for many reasons. But obviously I've cut up for my swap. But let me show you the back side of this piece. It's like uh, they list real red and cherry cobbler in this paper. I think there's a third red. Cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, mossy meadow, old olive, poppy parade, real red, Sahara sand. Shaded spruce, soft succulent, soft sweet. So lots of greens, lots of reds, and some browns. And it's 12 by 12. And it, it's called Bowels of Holly, but there are two different designs that have poinsettias. So there's the one I used on this card, which has a smaller pattern. And they're all just like side by side. You can't really cut one out. They're kind of overlapping. And then they have green in the center. It's really pretty kind of painted look. The back is just distressed with all those reds with some light sort of eighth inch perfect dots spaced out on there. And then I think I have a full sheet to show you of this other one that has the larger poinsettias, which I use that one also on my swaps to have enough. But I think I have a sheet of that. So anyway, there's lots that have just the distressed background. Um, it's sort of like watercolory, like you just took a sheet of white and started splashing reds all over it. So there's different dark and white and all that stuff. Yep, this is the one. So here's the one I also use, which just has much larger poinsettias, more like three inches or so. I know I've lost the screw of it is. Um, the biggest one anyway, it's about three inches. And there's a little more space in between them. So you get some green in the space between, but still you cannot cut them out really well because they overlap. So it's just a nice background. Then there's this nice dark image. I don't know if it's like what we're using today, like aspen or birch trees, but it's dark. It has a white background with with sort of Sahara sand and soft suede bark and sort of distressed dots. In the back of that, more poinsettias. <laughs> These are on a white background with lots of splatter around them. And it's a whole, it's not just the flower. There's leaves and berries and sprigs coming out from behind it. And each one is its own little grouping. I believe there are not dies to cut these out, but you could hand cut them out. 
was that hello? Bowels of Holly. Let me look in the back for the page number. Page 25. Yeah, no dies to cut those out. The dies only, I believe, match the stamp set, the leaves of Holly stamp set. Okay, anyway, we'll just. And then another watercolory distressed background, but with all the greens. And then a sheet on the back of that, that's a bunch of like pine trees overlapping each other in an upward direction. It's just a background of pine trees in all of the greens with a little bit of white in the background. Um, a nice distressed, soft, more soft succulent greens, but then there's some light, very light stripes going down that sheet. Just a super pretty background piece with a bunch of leaves. So you have holly leaves, berries, other kind of sprigs and leaves, all the colors, literally all the colors, and sort of a Sahara sand distressed background with a tiny bit of white. Yeah, I remember when I showed y'all this paper before. And then there's a nice background. It's kind of um, kind of weird, almost like spray painted green swatches, and then white and green and red leaves and berries and stuff. Interesting. The back of that is the one that's kind of crazy, kind of like a super crazy large camouflage with reds and greens. Kind of crazy. Haven't noticed if anyone's used that yet and done something with it. That was one we all kind of raised our eyebrows up. Okay, so that's the paper I'm using. Just on this card, the other cards are not using designer paper like that. That's one and seven eighths, five, five and a fourth. Um, then I have a scrap of soft suede, a scrap of basic white, and then I am, or I pre die cut and embossed piece of basic white with the seasonal labels dies the largest label this is in our annual catalog it's so nice it's a really large label and then i embossed that with the merry melody embossing folder some musical notes there okay so let's stamp i'm going to stamp on the large white the scrap of white Suede. I'm use real red and soft suede ink. All of my ink pads are packed in feels like 500 classes I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> so I'm using my old cell pads there. Okay, so let heaven and nature sing. I'm going to stamp in the bottom right hand corner of the four by five and four basic white. The bird. Is getting stamped in real red it's on this scrap the scrap is larger than i need look how pretty so you can't just stamp it in one color or colored paper or plain paper i do want to go ahead and clean the bird because i'm using another color on another card just using my chamois here I also have a video on TikTok showing how I wash my shoes in the washing machine. Check that out if you like. And then stamp the branch. The very, I already said it's like four inches long branch that, of course, the bird can sit on. So I'm stamping that on the strap of soft suede in soft suede ink. And then I'm going to die cut out the bird and the branch. Make some space here. I did 30 of these last night. I can't remember if I did that number, but 30 is the number I decided to do. I was going to do 50 swaps and then it felt too overwhelming and I couldn't handle it. 30 seemed more manageable. Let me just trim this down. Okay, so the dies. I'm gonna get my readers. Good morning, everybody. 
Lori says that vinyl paper will be the one everyone ends up loving. So true. Somebody's going to show us how to use it properly. And then it'll be amazing. And we'll be ordering more just to get that one piece. <laughs> okay, so I'm just aligning my dies. I bumped the bird when I set that down. Or, I mean, I think I bumped it before I set it down anyway. Either way, I bumped the bird. This is the Stanley Cut and Emboss machine. If you're not familiar, it's amazing. It was die cut and emboss anything Stampin' Up! carries. It comes with all the plates you need. It comes with instructions. I also have some TikTok videos where I show all the sandwiches for embossing, die cutting, etc. I'm loving the TikTok videos because they are short and sweet. So you can just be like, how do you do this? Let me watch a 30 second video. Okay, I know how to do it now. I don't need to listen to Jennifer talk on for an hour. <laughs> so it kind of hits. That way I can relate to both kinds of customers. Okay. I think that's all we need. Let's put this together. I am going to add a bow on this with the gold shimmer ribbon. I love this ribbon so much. It came back after last year's mini catalog. And uh, it's so pretty. And it's also the one you can get free from me if you order with that host code with a $50 purchase or more in August. Okay, I'm going to put a graphic up here real quick. I forgot to show you. The host code is important because that's what links you to certain parties, ordering specials, etc. So you want to make sure when you see the checkout page after you've clicked on the shopping cart that you click the add host code button or it's like a link basically above the word checkout and then you copy and paste or type in that host code there. Okay, so that's to qualify for specials or like if you do it my BOGO, there be there will be a different host code for that, etc. Okay, so I attached the designer paper. Now I'm adding this white that I stamped. Let heaven and nature sing. I'm adding that inside the card. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach the label that I have embossed. with the Mel Mary Melody embossing folder, I'm going to attach that to the front left flap. And the way I do that for alignment is I get the image where I want it and then I flip it upside down top to bottom. And I basically put it back in the exact same spot. And then I have a visual to tell me where to place my adhesive or in this case, Stampin' Dimensionals that will be far enough to the left that they will not show or stick on this other right half of my cardstock when I put my card together. Okay, so I just use five normally, and I'm using mini Stampin' Dimensionals, my favorites. And I'm just making sure I place this high enough. It's centered left to right, but high enough that my greeting shows there on the bottom. And then I will add the bird with dimensionals. Which, by the way, red is not the color Chris told me to use. <laughs> but I actually saw someone else just stamped it in red on white. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the center of this piece, but a little higher. Um, and I'll, anyway, I saw someone else did it in red on white paper. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm doing, at least on one card. Now I have to color it. Okay, then a couple of dimensionals on the branch. And just kind of tuck that branch under the bird's foot there. I'm kind of putting it at an angle, bottom left to top right, and just making sure it's not going over the edges of my card on the left or right side. Um, and then just a bow with this ribbon, and that will be it. That card's finished.
One of those packets hating to glue the opposite side. Yes, yeah, talking about that point study uh, or mouths of Holly DSP. Um, okay, so I have my gold shimmer ribbon. It's three eighth inch, by the way, because we have a different gold shimmer ribbon that is one fourth inch. It is different. Um, I have two bows, I mean, two loops. One in each hand. This is a bunny ear bow. Lots of space in between. You can't, your fingers can't be side by side with no space there. Um, and of course, a tail on each side. And then keep the ribbon flat the whole time. So there's no turns. It's not like I'm holding it like this. No, we want it flat, flat, flat. Then right hand goes over left. That right loop, same one go, gets pushed down into the rabbit hole. And then you pull and of course you have to adjust 90% of the time to, to make the loops even and all that stuff. And then when you trim, there's zero waste on the side that's attached to the roll, which is my favorite part of that. And very little waste usually on the other side. Um, and then we'll just glue dot that on here and we will be finished with this part. I was not drawn to the DSP until now. Lovely with the bird. Thank you, Dev. I have thought it was pretty just because of all that red with the points. It is, but it's true. Like, not every side is appealing to me personally. Everybody has different tastes. I'm not saying that if you like it. <laughs> um, but I agree about the paper, but some of the sides are so pretty. And then my friend April, she was working with it with the stamp set that it's bundled with and the cards were gorgeous and I'll, I will be using it in a stamp stack later this season as well. Okay, so there's card number one. If you like it, if you'd like to have a chance to win the three cards I'm making today, make sure you comment on this video, even on replay, that's fine. Say hi, ask a question, tell us where you're from, tell us about your weather, by the way, it rain last night, etc. And you will be entered to win the card. If you share the video, that helps me a lot. So if you share the video, I comment that you shared so we can enter you again. Okay, the next card is using these pieces. It's actually a pretty simple card, um, but it uses this amazing die that I told you about, which actually I was going to show that in a sec, not that it matters. Um, so we have a basic white card base. Go ahead and fold that. Basic white, five and a half feet and a half. Then the next layer is the basic white, and it is five, five and three eighths by four and one eighth to be just an eighth inch smaller than the front of the card. Then I have a scrap of basic white, and I have three leaves, which I have pre-die cut for this video, copper, gold, and bronze. They're Aspen leaves from the Aspen tree, trees dies. <laughs> so there's only two dies that cut out the leaves, a larger one and a smaller one. I think they're both Aspen, I don't really know. I'm just guessing. And um, this is a slightly different shape, but uh, when you die cut it all in one action, it puts the veins and die cuts it out. So it's pretty amazing. Of course, I cut that from the free. You can get this free. You can also buy it. Um, metal, brushed metallic 12 by 12 cardstock is what they call this. Brushed metallic 12 by 12 cardstock. You get bronze, gold, and copper. I had to label them because sometimes I couldn't tell them apart. So I made myself a little chart here. <laughs> and now I can just hold it up be like, oh, that is bronze. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, that one is gold. Anyway, this is one that I've used a ton of this paper, like over since it came out. But here's a brand new pack. Of course, I got it free with purchase. <laughs> so that's what it looks like brand new. This is what it looks like after I get a hold of it or my helpers, whichever. Um, so that you can get that free with 50 right now. Okay, so basically what I did was take this die, which is like an oval shape, and it's as basically 
almost as big as the front of a card. It's oval, but not a perfect oval, by the way. Um, it's basically the size of the front of a card, but it will fit on a four by five and a fourth piece or this little slightly bigger one like me. It's five inches tall and three and five eighths inches wide. And what it cuts is like you use the negative. It does not actually cut out the oval. It just puts these trees on your card in an oval shape. And it's the, the I don't know if those are called trunks. I can't think of the word. It's just tree. Uh, what is that called? Anyway, it's the bottom of the tree and the branches. And there's several of them. So there's two taller ones on the right that have less branches and then three on the left that have more branches. Pretty amazing. So I die cut that out and to get all the details, which of course um, you do have to poke out either from your die or your paper, but they fall out easy. Here's this little piece of paper I had. I did want to show just this one piece that came out from right here. Most of the scraps, I threw them all away. But I thought this one might turn into something interesting. Somebody can do a card with this piece. It looks, it could be icicles. You could trim this off. It could be icicles. It could be a tool, a weapon, a fence, like a barbed wire fence. I don't know. I thought it was an interesting piece of paper. So there you go. Challenge issued. <laughs> Doesn't it look like something? <laughs> okay. Um, and maybe the other pieces do too. I was over the trash can when I was poking these out, but that one stuck out to me. Anyway, that's total random side note. That's what it looks like. It's pretty amazing, right? Now look. I used foam adhesive strips on the back. Super quick and easy. Um, so I didn't think you really needed to see me do that, but in case you don't know about these, when you they're really long adhesive strips, they can curve around pieces. Let me do this the right way. You know, as you're sticking it, you can curve it if you want. Um, but what I did was place it down on the paper and then when I got to the end, snip it and then use the leftover and snipped it. And then when I had little bitty pieces, I either put them on the sides here or in some of the trees in the middle. And some of you might have even used more pieces than me. The way it die cuts these trees out, it puts these little notches in it. So you have to be careful not to put your adhesive over the notches. Um, you could use dimensionals on this, but because it's so, I don't know, if you want it raised up, you want the whole thing raised up. And I just thought this would give me a more even raising. So hopefully that's Yeah, GN. It is very interesting, right? <laughs> it's kind of Halloweenish. I don't know. It looks like something. Um, okay, so that is going to be simple to just peel all of these off and attach it to the front of the card. There's just a protective coating. It's, these are basically like strips of Stampin' Dimensionals. The biggest challenge here will be to make sure you peel off you know, you don't miss a piece in the peeling off of the back. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but mine are two different colors. One was from an old, really old, older pack of foam adhesive strips and one was newer. So I don't know if one faded or different manufacturing time. It does not matter. They both work. So. And of course, these are pretty easy to peel off. There's just a bunch of them on here. And my nails are super short right now. So there's that. Speaking of the rain here last night, I know I'm just randomly talking. Uh, my friend April has had no electricity since 9 p.m. last night, and they're estimating 5 p.m. today. She lives near me but not we're not like in the same neighborhood or even city but thank goodness knock on wood we did not lose it here okay so now the challenge i just want to place this down nice and centered while on video 
how far away from the project. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. So it gives a lot of depth there, right? Facebook user says birch trees. Um, April, not April, Chris told me they were either birch or aspen. And then we noticed the name of the dye. So we thought maybe aspen because of the name, but who knows what's stamping up. I was, anyway, <laughs> I had a thought about it and I was like, maybe the label these and tell us what these are for those of us who don't know our trees and flowers. <laughs> but, um, you know. Okay. So that looks gorgeous by itself, like right there. But to finish this off, it's pretty quick and easy. We have the three die cut leaves, three large, one small. Um, and we just need a greeting. So on this strap of white, I'm going to stamp your kindness warms my heart. And that's going to fit into the lasting label punch from our annual catalog. So I'm going to stamp in soft suede. is red rubber so it is going to be a little easier to stamp first if you can and then center the image and punch but you can probably stamp it fine if you pretty punch and I want to put the leaves on first I am adding the leaves flat since this whole thing is raised up and so I'm gonna add like you would just kind of lay the leaves out and figure out how you wanted them on your card, but I know I want the copper larger one on top of the gold larger, so I added some adhesive on the right edge of that that um copper one and stuck them together. And then I'm gonna add adhesive all the way across the back. Of both of those I'm just using stamp and seal and put them down here in the bottom right hand corner having a thought though I might do this one tiny little bit different so let me add my green next with dimensionals mini stamp and dimensionals I'm trying to make sure these dimensionals will touch cardstock instead of the hole in the opening there. So I just did four mini stamp dimensionals in the four corners of the greeting. And that's going to go down there in the bottom right hand corner. And then I think I will add a dimensional to this smaller leaf just because. I might scooch it up a little bit because I'm going to add a bow. Okay, so there's that. Pretty simple, right? And then I'm going to use the woven, the natural woven ribbon, which is amazing. It's like a gauze almost. And just do a bunny ear bow. I love this ribbon. I wish it would stay, like become a permanent product. <laughs> the mat, it actually surprisingly matches a lot of stuff. It goes really good on Christmas cards. It looks good on fall and I'm sure any other season as well and then i'll just add this bow at the bottom of the small leaf there and that will be it for that one with a glue dot of course like i did the other bow That's it. Simple, but elegant, I believe, you think. <laughs> that's it. As a reminder, on my blog today at 11 Central, I will have the recipe cards for these three cards that you can look at, like view online or and or print, you know, download and print. So there's just one example of the recipe card. If you ever find errors on those, let me know. I can fix it and it will update immediately. It's simple. I'll just add a product, you know, or delete a product. 
<laughs> Thanks, Jeanne. Thank you, Facebook user. I know the foil papers, like they just take every anything to the next level. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Cindy. Awesome. Maybe the random piece. Oh, Lori, what were you gonna say? Lori, finish it. <laughs> Unless maybe Facebook cuts you off. Here, I'm oh, sorry, wrong one. Sometimes it cuts comments off, like you can't read the whole thing in some certain places. Anyway, I don't know what you're gonna say, Lori. Um, thank you, Marva. Love your card and how you sketch around the dies so you don't notice. Yes, um, you said that, Linda. Um, <laughs> no rain. I'm oh, sorry. I'm getting so distracted by your comments. Let me put this here. No rain. No rain in Anna. No rain in part, her part of Minnesota. Darn Lori. Um, thank you, Pat. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Jan. Hey, Catherine. Watch the doctor's office. Great distraction. Good. Um, thank you, Marva. Love the recipe cards. I mean, hippo cards from morning yesterday. Thank you, Cindy. Um, cool. Okay. And I was going to say something else, and I got distracted. I distracted myself. Okay. Last one. What I was going to say it annoys me. Okay, so I have a crumb cake card base, five and a half, eight and a half. And I have a layer of Cajun praise, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Then I have a piece of the uh, gold foil. I believe that's the gold. Huh? Yes, you have to do it every time. Um, that's three, three by four. Then a piece of crumb cake that is two and seven eighths by four, uh, sorry, three and seven eighths, is basically one eighth inch smaller than the foil. And I have some watercolor paper, mm -hmm. fluid 100 watercolor paper. A paper towel, a sponge dauber, and my water painters. Um, does this go to this card? Look. Oh, okay. Sorry. What is this? It was another piece of light I had in my hand. And I also have, last but not least, a label, Basic White, that is from Ben Pretty Die Cut with the Potted Succulents dies. Amazing dies and four different label shapes in them. Four. I don't know what I was going to comment on. Um, that are amazing any of your cards, even though this is like about succulents. These four labels are amazing. Okay, I think Linda commented about tracing the dies, and yes, it's great to help you fit them all back on the sheet. A and B, notice if you're missing one. Um, I also write the number of dies in a Sharpie so that I can count, but it helps a lot if you trace them. But of course, for me, if I don't trace them before, I start taking them off, then it turns into this. <laughs> so, and sometimes I'm too big of in too big of a rush, and I don't trace them in time. Okay, so let me fold my card base in half. Okay, five and a half, eight and a half, and then the. Next layer of Cajun Grace has been embossed with the Leaf Ball embossing folder, amazing folder in the holiday catalog. And then there's the gold I told you about, and then the two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths chrome cake has also been embossed with the Leaf Ball embossing folder. So it's just a, a six by six folder, 3D, so it's a thick one that has many different kinds of leaves falling on an angle. So basically the bottom right triangle does not get embossed. It's really, really pretty. We used it a lot in the retreat projects. 
this past weekend as well. Which those tutorials are out in my tutorial store, by the way. Um, okay, and then I just wanted to point out that when you are layering anything on top of foil paper to not be wasteful, you can die cut or punch anything you want from that. So I made this part after I had done these. They were finished and cut and prepped and everything. But I was like, I'm just going to cut some more leaves out of this foil. So I did a large and a small because otherwise it gets covered up and never able to use. And of course, your foil paper, especially, you can do this with cardstock too, but your foil is more valuable, so to say. Um, and so the more you can get out of it, the better. Okay, so I'm going to watercolor on this bird. I, of course, do simple watercoloring. I'm not an artist at all, by any means. And I'm not artistic but I can get by and anyway so that's what I'm gonna do so I use Stampin' Blends on this, these videos a ton and with those you want to stamp in a water-based ink like Memento Black well it's water-based so it's gonna run with your water painters with water but stays on is a permanent ink that will not run when you put water on it. So we carry tuxedo black stays on and saddle brown stays on. So saddle brown is a really nice color for um, this word. Long story short, for this word. So stamp the bird there as a sort of like on the scrap of this big piece of watercolor paper, which that's the size it comes when you purchase it. And of course, when you use watercolor paper, it's five by seven. Um, then you can layer water on top of water on top of water and the paper won't break down or bubble up or whatever. When you use um, regular stock, you have to, you can do it, and I do it all the time, but you have to be more aware and don't keep layering the water, basically. Okay, so I'm going to paint with from my pad so that everything matches and it's easy and I don't buy another product. And I'm going to turn my ink pad upside down. And with our old pads, let me actually show you. There's an old one. They were super flexible. And you could just press, if you're not weak like me, you could just press with your thumbs and get ink right. Look how much ink I just did. It's amazing. Not the same with these, which is probably a good thing. It's a nice sturdy plastic, not very flexible. So most of us cannot press with our thumbs and get a good amount of ink. I think there's already ink here from where I made my samples. You can tell I didn't hit anything just now or it would have smushed that drop right there. I use my elbow <laughs> and I grab my you know, with my other hand, and I push really hard with my elbow on the table, and it's fine. I get plenty of ink with the elbow technique. See, <laughs> some people are strong enough with the thumbs, most are not. And it was hilarious. We all in my team discovered this when we when these new pads came out, and then there was a guy, one of the male employees, that's stepping up doing a demonstration on stage at an event. And he was watercoloring and he was like, can you just press the bottom? And we all looked at each other like, it's not going to work. Well, of course it worked for him. He was obviously stronger than us. And he just pressed with his thumbs and there was a ton of ink there. But if you're weak, like I'm saying, like me, use your elbow. Um, you want the ink in the lid so that you're not like putting water on your ink pad and making a weird dry spot and all that. Okay, though. Water painters, you get three sizes, small, large, medium. That's mine have probably been rearranged. But anyway, I'm going to use the medium one, which looks like that. Remember, I'm not a professional. <laughs> and they unscrew backwards. We actually had someone at retreat come up to us and ask us what, like, is her water you know, broken or is she doing something really dumb? And we're like, neither. They unscrew backwards. So it's not right tight it's right and screw 
put water in there. Left to tighten. So FYI. And then it says push on both sides. And that's where you push like, the water flow. I always do that over my hand. And it's actually um, when you squeeze and you let go, more water comes out. So squeeze and let go. And I always put my hand there if I'm not dripping all over my project. You can also have a paper towel nearby. Um, remember, I'm not a professional at this. Um, what I want to do first, though, is get this bird wet just with water. Ooh, that's a lot of water. Um, which I think, I'm saying um, every other word, I think makes your ink blend a little better and smoother. And then I want to go with some Cajun craze here on this like breast, I guess, but I'm going to water it down a little right here in the, in the lid. And that's going to go here on this sort of breast section of the bird on water. And I'm putting it a little above the nose and a little below the eye. Yes. These areas are not super defined. Uh, this is all based on just a picture. I think a picture Chris sent me of a real bird, like a real life bird. Okay, so something like that. And I'm going to clean my brush off by squeezing it you know, over and over and using a paper towel until I don't see this color anymore on the paper towel, which is Cajun craze. So when you're ready to switch colors, make sure your brush is clean. And otherwise you're going to mix together, right? And when you don't see that color anymore, you can switch. And then I'm going to water, actually, let me get the wet again a little bit just in case and I'm going to water down some crumb cake which takes on very green tint when you get it wet by the way and then just paint the rest of the bird with crumb cake right now just all over watered down this dries pretty fast on watercolor paper as well by the way which is nice also always hit it with the heat tool if you need um, it to dry faster. So I'm going to pick up now some darker, not water it down as much, and grow, grow, build layers for the shadowing. So I'm just going around this breast area and then this tail Mainly that part of the Stampin' Up! put a lot of lines there, so I assume that might look darker in real life. We need a lot of water down to fill in some blank spots there. I know leaving white space is actually a thing when you're watercoloring, but I'm not good at that. I'm just filling in my blank spots. Now, at this point, you can go back and add layer and layer and layer. Of course, other colors, you can mix as many colors as you want. I can add more details in that sort of red section. Here's one I colored yesterday. I don't know if one looks necessarily better than the other, but there we go. Or I, I didn't remember when I made these cards. I don't think it was yesterday, but anyway, here we go. That's watercolor. <laughs> Kathy loves the bundle, yes. Thank you, Deb. Yeah, these are basic. I'm not an artist watercolor tips. So clean your brush off before you put it away. You can wipe the inside out if you want. I never do. <laughs> As you can tell from my ink pad. And that's it. And then we're going to die cut this out. What else though? Oh, so the greeting. I'm stamping the greeting and it stays on just so it matches. So that's obviously any type of ink. It says, um, no matter the season, I am here for you. And I'm putting that right on that pre die cut label.
By the way, as a side note, Azon does not do too good with photopolymer stamps. There's something about the fact that it's a solvent ink, and I think it's a chemical reaction. I don't really know the reason, but it gets super sticky. And if you're going to use stays on ink with your photopolymer stamps, you want to clean it off immediately. <laughs> and how do I know? Because I've done it where I stamped multiple times and it started getting so sticky that it was literally ripping my paper off. So I think it's just some kind of chemical reaction. I'm going to duck this word out. And what else about that? So to heat, I mean, sorry, to watercolor with photopolymer, I would recommend heat embossing it. So spray burn the mark, pour your powder on the mark, and then um, you can color because because heat embossing is obviously it's basically like plastic on there at that point. Okay, our cute bird. Where's the where? we go on my green cake car stock that's two and seven eight three and seven eight that's embossed i'm going to add some crumb cake ink to the edges so i'm using my thank you deb deb you're very nice today <laughs> i appreciate it i'm going to use a sponge powder and a tip on this when you're sponging anything is put the sponge in the corners of your ink pad. You don't want to soak up all that good ink in the middle section where you normally stamp. Even the edges, corners and edges. Oh, see, I got a lot in that edge. It's all fresh ink here. We're never stamping in that section. Um, so anyway, that's just a little tip there. And I like to hold my paper in the air and drag, like literally, I'll hear that sound, scrape it against the edges. I think it gives a better look than putting this on the table and rubbing like that because then you're getting I'll grab a scratch paper. You're getting like that roundness of the sponges instead of if it's the edge, it's just, I don't know what the word is, but it's more of a distressed effect instead of the round. That's why I do not do it on the table like that. I don't like that look. And then of course, uh, most people sponge a lot more dark than I do and more deep into the inside of the image, but that's your preference. Okay, so I will attach, start with my what is this called? Cajun craze. Okay, I think this crumb cake piece is the wrong size. I probably grabbed it from somewhere. Yep, let me cut this in half. I am sure I grabbed that somewhere in this room, which there's about four spots that that could be. And I just assumed it was half a sheet, but it was not. So much paper in this room. Anyway, I'm attaching the Cajun Craze cardstock to the card base, flat. Then attach the sponge pumpkin to the gold metallic brush metallic cardstock. I don't know why they don't call it foil. It is foil. Oh, I did that wrong. Hold on. Ugh. I think it's too late. <laughs> Let's see. That's would be totally fine. I just attached that like normal, but I meant to do it at an angle. I forgot. Okay. Let me attach the foil first. Sheesh. On a little bit of an angle, basically in the center, maybe a little more toward the top of the card. And then the crumb cake piece is tilted to the right a little bit. 
just to be different. And then the little bird. Actually, let me put my reading on next flat. And make it be straight across, even with the bottom of the card base. And then um, dimensionals for my bird. I'm using about three on the bird each time, by the way, of the triangle. Isn't it a cute bird, though? And I've, I've seen it. Like someone else at the beginning, I think, said that they had seen lots of cute cards with this bundle. I agree. I have as well, like on Pinterest and stuff. And um, uh, what do you trying to say? Coloring. Lots of different colors. Chris told me she, Chris is like a bird person. <laughs> she told me she thought it was sort of a generic wintry bird, like probably not one specific type. So I'm assuming that lets you color it all different colors. Just make a bunny ear bow here with my woven ribbon, the same ribbon as the last card. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I'm not a bird person, nor I don't have knowledge of birds, nor um, trees, nor flowers. Maybe even up the ends on that ribbon. So I'll just glue out this bow down in the left corner at an angle near the greeting in the corner of that rectangle. And that's it. So three sort of different style cards with this bundle. Let me know what y'all think. If you have a favorite, feel free to let me know. <laughs> the coloring on these two birds is so different. I went, I think, I don't even know which one I made today. This one, I think. So I went a lot more layers. I think I'll put this one in as the prize. I think it's better, my opinion. Um, it looks like I layered a little more on the, on the Cajun as well, and then on the body here with the crumb cake. Um, so bring back all three cards. These are the ones you will have a chance to win just by commenting on the video today. Um, perched in a tree bundle. As a reminder with the Aspen tree dies, which are, you can purchase them and you can purchase the bundle, but they're also free with a hundred dollar purchase right now. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Of course, if you, I forget to have my thing on here. If you, um, yeah, if you have any, oh, if you want links, what I was trying to say to any of the events I talked about earlier, you can always get with me or join my newsletter, uh, go to my VIP customer group, which I have links for in this video on Facebook and YouTube. I have tons of links in the description of this video. And even on YouTube this time, I put links to the products. So that was new for me. Um, Facebook user, second card is your favorite. I kind of agree. It's so, like, even though it's not like extremely simple for us to make, because we have to do the die cutting and all, but it looks very simple and elegant, which I like. Um, thank you, Jean. <laughs> the middle one best. I'm not a painter. I know, right? I do. I don't know if you've tried the aqua, the water painter before, but I do. I've always thought, like before we sold Stampin' Blends, that anyone can do basic coloring like this with our ink pads and a water painter, aqua painter back in the day. Um, but just your goal is to look like those amazing artists. It's just to sort of swipe on the color real quick and be done. So maybe give it a try if you've never done it yet. Thank you, Anne. Thanks, Facebook user. Thanks, Sandy. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. It's a little earlier than normal today. Amazing. Um, I will not be on live next week. 
I thought I might be able to, and then I realized I'm crazy. I will not be able to pull that off. I will be going to Stampin' Up's backstage in New Orleans, and I'm leaving Wednesday. So I just won't be able to get it done by Tuesday. So mostly white and people Um, So no live next week. But hopefully, I should. I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I should be back the following week like normal on Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. You can still comment on this video, even on replay, to get entered into the drawings to win these three cards, as well as if you share the video, make sure you let me know. And that works on YouTube, as well as Facebook. We enter both, or from both. Hey, Judy, MPA. Nice to see you. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. I will see you in two weeks but of course in the meantime i'm always available even if i might take a day to reply i'm always available for questions <laughs> so everyone have a great week and i will see you later I'm very excited about next week because there's 10 of us from my team going to backstage 10 of us it's going to be amazing all right see you everybody later have a great thank you darlin have a great week and um i will see y'all soon Bye.